How is flour made? We've been making flour for at least 6,000 years. Stone Age people took grain and crushed it between two stones. Although modern flour mills are very big and make thousands of tons of flour every day, the process really isn't that different. To make flour you need grain. Most flour that we use for bread is made from wheat grain. We grow over 16 million tonnes of wheat in the UK. It's usually planted in the autumn, and it grows throughout winter, spring and summer, ready for harvest in August. The farmer harvests the wheat using a machine called a combine harvester. Then the grain is taken to the mill, ready to be ground into flour. Each grain of wheat is a seed, which would grow into a new wheat plant if it were put into the soil. The grain has three parts, the bran, which is the outside skin, the endosperm, which is the food store of the grain, and the wheat germ, which is the part of the grain that grows into a new plant if the grain germinates. A loaf of brown bread has all the parts of the grain in the flour. When the grain arrives at the mill, they take a sample to check the quality. If the grain passes the test, it's unloaded into the mill's storage area. The next job is to clean the grain that's just been delivered. They take out all of the straw, sticks and stones using these sieves. Then they blend different types of wheat together so they can make the right kind of flour. This is called gristing. The flour used in bread needs to have a lot of protein in it to make it soft but strong when it's baked. The milling happens in these machines, called plan sifters. The machines separate the different parts of the wheat using rollers and air bubbles, and this process creates the flour. The ground flour is then tested and checked for quality. Then it's transported to the bakery, or to the shops, ready to bake your fresh loaf of bread.